It's Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7. Proverbs 4 7 the Bible says and we're blessed based on the word of God. Creation word. So that so that you are confident of the origin of that blessing. Yeah. says that wisdom is the principal thing that in this life wisdom is more important than your beauty wisdom 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 in, the, in this school of life wisdom is the principal thing and one of the ways God gives us wisdom is by a blessing say amen. amen or let me put it this way one of the ways you acquire wisdom is by God giving you say amen and one of the ways God gives you is via blessing so uh, what am I saying? How can I get wisdom? God can give you. And I'm saying, how can God give you? Via a blessing. Say amen. amen. If you understand, I say I understand that. Look at Proverbs 2 6. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6. Proverbs 2 6. Can we read together? One, two, go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lift up your hand. Collect the first wisdom. In the name, collect the first blessing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Receive wisdom from God. Wisdom. Wisdom. From above. The Bible says that which is from above is above all. Receive wisdom from above. Receive a blessing of wisdom from God in the name of Jesus. The Bible tells us that there are different types of wisdom. In James chapter 2, verse 15 and verse 17, it says there's earthly wisdom, there's sensual wisdom, there's demonic wisdom. It says, but the wisdom from above is above them all. Lift up your hand to heaven. In the name of the Lord Jesus, anywhere you go, anywhere you go, may the wisdom of God come upon you. Yeah. On account of this wisdom of God, may you be above all competition in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Remember that the blessing comes on the head of whomsoever receives it. You know, you know big boys sometimes don't need blessing. <laughs> That's why they have big problems. But when you collect, uh, yeah, yeah, show, show first. Lift up your hand to heaven. And moreover, I hear the Lord speak to me as I'm standing now that a man is here, he needs wisdom to crack this thing in front of him. Lift up your hand to heaven. In the name of the resurrected Christ. The wisdom from above, the wisdom of God, received now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wisdom you need for destiny, receive. Wisdom for your purpose in life, receive. Wisdom for your assignment in life, receive. Wisdom at work, receive. Wisdom in marriage, receive. Wisdom to parent, receive. Wisdom to succeed in Canada. Receive. In the name of Jesus. Sometimes I see people post on all these YouTube, Instagram, it's all over the place. So, so people sit there and say, yeah, they've left Canada, they've gone back to Europe. Or they've gone That's their story. That's their story. That's their story. Lift up your hand. God can bless you here. I saw it in my eyes. If you've been in this church, I said this to like five or seven years ago. I saw a 30 year old guy. As at that time, he looked at me. He said, Cola. He says, I have $2 million in my account. And he wasn't lying because he proved it to my wife and myself. 30 year old guy. I thought about my life for a minute. Lift up your head. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the wisdom to excel in this life. You are here for a reason, oh. The Bible says God determines where people stay on the location of this. There's no guesswork. But there is a wisdom that is required. In the name of the Lord Jesus, receive wisdom to prosper in this land. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are going to read this scripture. Job 38, 13 to 18. You, and you will see why we are 
releasing this blessing. Job 38, 13 to 18. Is the ostrich. How many people know ostrich? Let me ask you a question. Which is faster? A horse or a ostrich? Horse, right? Come on. A horse or a ostrich? Which one? Oh, ostrich. I just played you. Horse is like 30 miles an hour. Ostrich, 48. But listen, listen. I want, we are going to read this scripture so that you... I pray for you that you will desire this blessing. I pray for you. Can we read together? One, two, go. That it might take hold of the ends of the earth, uh -huh. and the wicked shall be shaken out of it. It takes on form like clay under mm. a seal, and mm. stands out like a garment. Mm. From the wicked, they are the light. No. No. No, that's not the scripture. Let me check. Let me check. Oh, Lord, help me. You need to see the scripture. It will change you will change um, it will change your game it will change the game I'm telling you you will long for wisdom like never before um, it's in Job let me look for it let me see uh, yeah okay let me see here beg your pardon Job 39 my hand eat 8 9 Job 39 13 to 18 Ooh, you collect the blessing Job 39 13 to 18 have you found it can we read together? One to go. The wings of the ostrich wait proudly, mm -hmm. but are her wings and pinions like the kindly storks? For she leaves her eggs on the ground and warms them in the dust. She forgets that a foot may crush them or that a wild beast may break them. She treats her young Ashley as though they were not hers. Our labor is in vain, without concern. Because God deprived her of wisdom and did not endow her with understanding. When she lifts herself on high, she scorns the horse and its rider. Give it to me in the NLT. Are you seeing this? The ostrich, once she begins to run, she can outrun a horse. But yet she has no wisdom. So I ask you, speed and wisdom, which one is better? Ostrich, very fast, but no wisdom. Give birth, leave it on the ground. You see some women like that. They are not even caring for the children. There's a lack of wisdom. Lift up your hand to heaven. Anything you birth, and yet you 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 just do anyhow. But you think you are succeeding, you have speed in a particular area. That's an ostrich. That's the spirit of an ostrich. You give birth, you abandon. Who will take care of the children? That's an ostrich. Lift up your hand to heaven. Here, collect this blessing. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may God not deprive you of wisdom. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, For God deprived her of wisdom. But God gave her speed. So when she wants to show off, she starts running. But God looks at what a foolish animal. Her labor in vain. Lift up your hand to heaven. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may God not deprive us of wisdom. May your labor not be in vain. Oh, I thought I said a prayer. May your labor not be in vain. The wisdom, Mashkayanta Kalitoria, the wisdom that ensures that your labor is not in vain. Receive from God in the name of Jesus. May God not deprive you of understanding. May the spirit of the ostrich anywhere is already operating your life. Out now in the name of Jesus. Say, I receive. Say, I receive. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, I receive. Say, I receive. In the name of Jesus, receive wisdom for destiny. <laughs> but better still, lift up your head. Wisdom is better than speed. You just saw it now. So, in collecting speed, collect wisdom too. In fact, let me tell you, you with wisdom, you overtake. 
lift up your hand. I am praying for somebody here. This is scripture. I'm showing you. This is scripture. Wisdom is better than speed. But because you have come for this service, lift up your hand together. In the name of the Lord Jesus, collect speed and wisdom together. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive a blessing today of wisdom and speed. Say, I receive. Say, I receive. Say, my head is blessed. With the blessings of the Lord. Mark 6 2. Chapter 6, verse 2, blessing number 2. That's blessing number 2 now. Can we read together? One, two, go, please. Just because of our time. So, at least two ways that wisdom is manifest by words you can't be saying silly things and you're wise it does not work if they were listening to his teaching then they concluded that he had wisdom they were saying his works they concluded that he had wisdom so at least two dimensions of manifestation of wisdom is in your words you can't look at your husband and say you're very stupid there is no wisdom in that statement it's a proof that you lack wisdom and there's no joke it's not a joke even if he's joking with you, it is not a joke. It's not a statement that should proceed from the mouth of a wise person. Or your works, what you do. How can you do shabby work and you say you are wise? I've told you, your work give it you away. Lift up your hand to heaven. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may the wisdom of God begin to manifest. In the name of Jesus. Have you read in scripture that even a fool, when he keeps quiet, is deemed as wise? But the way we catch fools, the moment they start talking, look at your, look at your mates. How is that the word of a wise woman? Lift up your hand to him. In the name of the Lord Jesus, from today, your words are words of wisdom. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. A man that looks at his wife and says, you are good for nothing, puts her down. That's a useless man. What words are those? The Bible says, let your words be seasoned with salt, full of grace, good for the edification. Lift up your hand to heaven. I pray for you today. From today, may your words be like apples of gold in settings of silver. I say from today, may the wisdom of God manifest from your words in the name of Jesus. May your words be apples of gold in settings of silver. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Luke 21, 15. Lift up your hand. Collect a blessing. From today, receive a mouth and wisdom that the enemy cannot gain say. I say receive a mouth and wisdom the enemy cannot gain say. I say receive a mouth and wisdom the enemy cannot gain say. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When David heard that Ahitophel had joined with uh, Absalom, he was afraid because he knows that once Ahitophel speaks, the Bible says it's like the cancel from the oracle of God. Lift up your hand to heaven. I collect a blessing today. From today, whenever you speak in that office or to your friends or whatever, it will be as if they went to hear from the oracle of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is a way to speak. This quarreling you are having in your marriage will, will die. 
the Bible says a soft tongue breaks a bone. Does that make sense? How, how do you break a bone? Break a tongue. You use the tongue. How? See, there is a softness of the words that comes out. Lift up your hand to heaven if you are interested. I say from today, and as you speak, you begin to speak as the oracle of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And this being nice to people outside and horrible to your family is the, the trick of the devil. Everybody knows you are very nice to all the ladies outside. Then when you get home, you are, you are horrible to your wife. There's no wisdom there. Lift up your hand to heaven. There's no wisdom there. There is no wisdom there. All the men outside, you are very nice to them. But when you come home, you are a terror. There, where is the wisdom of God there? That is a demonic wisdom. Lift up your hand. In the name of the resurrected Christ, I say receive wisdom from God. In the name of Jesus. The way you even treat your children. Women, aren't you the one that gives birth to them? Lift up your hand to heaven. I'm blessing you. Are you still interested? Receive the wisdom from God. May it manifest in your words. May it manifest in your works. From today, your works are excellent. That spirit of shabbiness, let's just do it anyhow. We bind that spirit and we cast it out. In the name of Jesus. Proverbs 8.15, it says, By me, kings reign. Lift up your hand to heaven. On account of this wisdom you collect this morning, begin to reign in life. Amen. Say, my head is blessed. With the blessings of the Lord. Masaka Taya Dada Masaka Talia Rade Masanta God will help us. Actually, there are three blessings. Two wisdom, one power, but this one power has three parts. I will rush it and put it together. Lift up your hand. Say, my father, empower me. First Chronicles chapter 5 verse 2. Profound scripture. First Chronicles 5 2. Can we read together? I want to go. Let Judah prevail over his brothers, and from him came a ruler, although the birthright was Joseph's. You know what that scripture means? Remember when Jacob was about to die? He promoted Manasseh and Ephraim. He moved them to the level of the father. Give them double portion. So, naturally, Joseph in Manasseh and Ephraim should be bigger because he has two nations. So, he should be bigger than Judah, bigger than everybody because the father gave him the birthright of a firstborn by elevating those two children. So, he collected double portion. But the Bible says, but after a while, in spite of Joseph collecting the birthright, Judah prevailed. Judah had enough power to dominate. Somebody lift up your hand to heaven. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, if you are interested in this, no matter the opposition, no matter the advantage that others have against you, on account of this blessing, receive power to prevail in the name of Jesus. Stop complaining about the disadvantage. Some disadvantage are structural. They are systemic. Yes, nothing you can do about it. What you need is power. That in spite of the systemic disadvantage, in spite of the locational disadvantage, there is enough power. 
there is enough power to still prevail in spite lift up your hand to heaven in the if you are interested in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth on account of this blessing i say receive power to prevail in life in the name of jesus in the name of jesus psalm 110 verse 2 psalm 110 verse 2 the bible says the lord shall send the rod of your strength out of zion you are in zion right now you are in zion lift up your hand to heaven in the name of the lord jesus as you leave this service you know moses had a rod and god said with this rod you are, you do signs and wonders in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus receive the rod of your strength today in the name of jesus with this rod of your strength go ahead and do wonders go ahead and prevail in life in the name of jesus another dimension of power is ability manifest through grace so dimensions of power is grace grace is a dimension of power that enables and gives a man ability first corinthians 15 10 first corinthians 15 10 you know that popular song i am what i am So Paul is telling he, you and I here that whatever he is, is via the grace of God. And I'm telling you, grace is God's power. It's another dimension of God's power. Abilities, lift up your hand to heaven. I see greatness here. Yeah. But no matter the greatness a man carries, so that you may know that it is not you, you need the help of God. So grace is required. So oftentimes, especially in Jesus' service, people are coming to me. I, I can't see everything I'm seeing, but and I will read a, a prophecy here that God gave NC as a church. I see the greatness. Some of them are in rank. Some of them are in the way they are dressed. They are wearing shirt and trousers. But that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing gold all around. So the potential is there. Lift up your hand to heaven. But you need grace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Receive power to become what God wants you to be. In the name of Jesus. In the name name of Jesus Amen. potential without power is frustration lift up your hand collect a blessing Amen. receive grace Amen. I said receive grace Amen. receive the grace of God Amen. to become in the name of Jesus Amen. Genesis 32 10 let me just wrap it up our time is fast man. Genesis 32 10 this is um, Jacob telling God that I left, I crossed this river with one stick. Look at me now, I have become two companies. Hallelujah. Amen. And the pastor said, that means you should have at least two companies, right? Amen. <laughs> yeah. so, so, but how, how did he do that? He, he received the blessing. Lift up your hand to heaven. The power to achieve destiny one of the ways is via a blessing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, receive power to achieve destiny. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ten years from now, five years from now, two years from now, in fact, by this time next year, may the Lord have increased you exceedingly. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The blessing you have received today, may they manifest. May the Lord bless the work of your hands. May the Lord establish your destiny. So it is, and it shall be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If you receive, say, I receive.